All right, so today we are going from all of this, which is last season's garden, to this. Hey, and welcome back to Mini Urban Farm, a channel about gardening and homesteading in the suburbs. Today I am ripping out everything that is behind me, which is last season's garden, fall 2021. It has definitely extended um, here in Central Florida, zone 9B. The seasons definitely run together a little bit. Normally I would have done this way earlier in the season. However, Alan and I just got married and we went on honeymoon, so I didn't want to leave the garden completely open. And at the same time, our seedlings were not ready to go because we were in the middle of wedding planning and all of the other stuff. So. Today we are ripping everything out. I'm gonna show you exactly what I'm composting, what I'm saving for later, what I'm gonna use for what, um, and then the garden will be ready to go. So let's jump right into it. As you can see, we have some things that have not survived. Um, we do have some little like tomatoes still in here, so I will be saving these. I don't know if you can see, there's kind of like this little swarm of mosquitoes or something, um, little gnats flying around um, all over the place, and it has been raining a ton. So not only is this super overgrown, but it's also really wet. I have my, my rain boots on because the ground is like super mushy. Um, and then this has definitely spilled over on both sides. And then this has definitely spilled over on both ends of the garden. So in our next season, or actually this season, should I say, there will be a lot more detailed planning with this trellis and making sure that I can contain everything in this space. Now this season, I'm going to be doing something a little bit differently. Um, instead of ripping out everything from left to right, which is usually what I do, um, I go through every bed and just rip out everything and make piles into compost, keep, um, discard, whatever. This time I'm going to do it in more of like a strategy. I'm going to rip out everything that I need to compost so I can put it in one big pile. And then I'm going to take all of the things out um, that I'm saving, anything like the kale that I'm going to blanch and save, which is back here somewhere, um, maybe some of the mustard greens, anything that I plan on actually using or freezing or saving, I'm going to leave that for absolute last um, just so that I can kind of have more of like a strategy this time around because in the past it has been a big mess. Let me show you what is coming out first. So our tomatoes are going to be the first things to come out. Um, I have not done a great job this season of keeping all of the indeterminate tomatoes up. You can tell this is like a branch that was supposed to be on the very top of the trellis. It is kind of like on the floor now. We do have tons of these little mini um, tomatoes that are bright green so I will likely take those off and put them on the countertop um, if they don't actually turn red which um, if, if green tomatoes aren't green enough right if they're not like a light green color if they're that dark green color then they won't turn red once you take them off the vine so if they don't turn red then I will put them in compost if they do turn red then great we will eat them so all of my tomatoes that is these plants over here I think there's like seven or eight plants at least on this side of indeterminate cherry tomatoes that are coming off the same thing on that end I have several cherry tomatoes that are again on the other side um, on the floor and those are coming out as well so those tomato plants while they are dead they actually don't have any disease on them so they will be going into the compost pile along with my arugula um, I think some of this will actually go to the chickens um, we have about 45 or so chickens now I lose count some of those are for me and some of those are for eggs and so we will definitely have tons to feed them um, whatever they don't eat because sometimes they get a little bit picky on the arugula um, whatever I, they don't eat will be going into the compost pile however this does have a lot of these little flowers on them and the little seed pockets I don't know if you can see those or not they're actually edible um, I haven't decided yet if I'm actually going to try and do something with these or not on the off chance that I do um, I will share with you how it actually tastes but most likely these will go straight to the chickens or the compost pile all right and then back here we have the rest of our tomato plants which are completely spilling out and overrun at this point in time you can see that a lot of them also have like these little pests that have dug their holes into them, um, little caterpillars or cutworms or something. I have not been too diligent on taking care of this while we were in the middle of wedding planning. So these will probably go straight into compost. Um, they don't, they're not really diseased, it's just something you know got to them. And then here, which is all of this, there's about four square feet of mustard. I was planning on actually saving the mustard, but it's not looking too hot right now because again, it is super late in the season and it's kind of starting to bolt. I wanted to save mustard seed, that is not gonna happen, but this will be going straight to the chickens um, and whatever the chickens don't eat will just kind of compost in place. 
All right, so now as for the stuff I'm keeping, um, I do have tons of parsley over here that has been growing underneath these tomato plants. Um, I also have my little sea of parsley here. Right before we left on our honeymoon, so like the day before the wedding, um, I took all of this parsley, I chopped everything down to the roots, and then you can see um, we've been gone for a couple weeks, and this has kind of just regrown itself. So I will be taking this parsley again. Um, I have tons of parsley in the freezer already. I have been saving parsley like crazy. I look like a crazy person with all parsley that I've frozen into um, into cubes or into like little herb bombs or whatever so I think this parsley is going to go to friends and family because I don't know that I need any more parsley in the freezer and then my sad little carrots over here now originally I was really excited for these I don't think they've been doing too hot because they have been shaded out um, and the weather has been on and off like cold and hot and cold and hot I'm trying to find a good one to see um, they all look super tiny. I don't think there's anything. Oh look, that's actually not too bad. Little baby carrots. So we might actually have something. Um, just little baby carrots for a dinner or something. I will save these in water, cut off the stems, and then this can also go to the chickens. At some point in time, the chickens are not gonna wanna eat any of this. Um, so anything that doesn't go will end up in the compost pile. But I've heard you can also eat these I think I've had them in a salad once and maybe I might try to make like some pesto out of them or something but there's actually more than I thought I was gonna get out of these carrots this season so that's pretty cool and then the last things that I am actually saving or the last thing I'm actually saving I should say is my kale um, all of this kale will be going into the freezer or into soups or salads or something um, I'm gonna split it up in between like what I'm gonna use this week for salads um, I like making like a quinoa salad with shredded kale that's pretty good and then I will take this and put it in my lentils and white bean soup um, and then I'll blanch and freeze it so I have some for later now underneath it or like right in front of it I should say but it's kind of taken over so this is my Swiss chard um, that'll go into compost usually the chickens don't eat too much of that um, for whatever reason they don't particularly like it and I'm actually not gonna be growing this out next season just because I love my kale so much and I want more of it um, and so yeah that's gonna go and then if you were wondering what this is I don't know if you can see it next to the kale I actually have no idea what this is um, this is a weed that just started growing it was not here when we left for our honeymoon and now it's just popped its head up um, I have no idea what this is actually it's like coming from in there somewhere um, it's very pretty but definitely a weed um, of some sort something I did not plant out so this is gonna get ripped up as well all right, so after I rip everything up, and you can see Milo hanging out here, glad to be back home from the kennel, um, I have my compost. I have 10 bags of compost here. Usually I would use my compost that comes out of that bin over there, but it is actually in the process of making new compost. I emptied it out and I used it um, a lot for the food forest. So for right now, I went and I got actual compost. Um, and then you can see over here, this is actually not gonna go into the garden now, but I have it ready and I'm going to make worm compost tea from it. So these are ready to go. All of these worm castings are pretty much done and I will be brewing them into worm tea. Um, I will be spreading, I will be spreading actually the worm tea on the plants as they grow in the garden, the new garden. Um, and then all of this is gonna go on top of whatever I rip out today. So once this is all empty, I will take the compost and put it in there. And then as you can see, I have an entire miniature greenhouse full of seedlings in here. These are all tomato seedlings. Um, we have some squash, which I don't know yet if I'm gonna plant out. I did not include it on my garden map, so I don't think I'm actually gonna have space for it, but a lot of these tomatoes are ready to just get in the garden already. Um, usually I do not let these grow so much. Um, however, I was afraid that if I put them in the garden, and actually this one's like the tiniest one, um, this is pretty much the size that they were when we left. And I was afraid that if I put them in the garden when they were this size, a lot of the pests, the slugs, caterpillars, whatever is in the garden right now eating the rest of my kale, that they were gonna get all of those as well. So yeah, I just decided to keep them in here and they have been bottom watered. I don't know if you can see this, they're pretty much out of water right now, but they were being bottom watered um, and they have done really, really well. They are literally coming out of the greenhouse, so it is time to plant them out. I will give it a day or two after I rip everything out um, because I want the soil to actually settle in place before I plant out anything else and then I will transplant and direct sow all of my seeds. 
All right, so time to get started. First, I am going to go ahead and repel all of my tomatoes, like I mentioned. This is definitely gonna take a little bit longer um, than we have time for in the video, so I went ahead and sped it up. You can see I'm just removing everything from the ground. Um, I'm not cutting them at the roots. I am actually just ripping them up out of the soil, trying to be as delicate as possible because I don't want to actually disturb any like good nutrients and bacteria in the soil, um, but I don't want them to regrow themselves either. So I am ripping everything out and taking everything off of the trellises as delicately as possible. All right, so I have two different piles. One is my tomato pile. Um, so this is all compost um, or trash if it doesn't fit in the compost pile. Um, our, our little compost bin can only hold so much and there's actually some still in it. Um, and so I will be getting rid of all of this. Um, you see, I tried to make sure the roots didn't come out with like tons of tons of soil on it. Um, I just kind of like bashed it against the side of the, um, the raised bed until it didn't have like too many clumps. Um, a lot of these roots are very, very thick. So yeah, um, I ended up cutting some of them for the most part. Um, I got all of the roots, but definitely there is still some, or there are still some um, in this bed over here because yeah, you want to leave some organic matter too. So it's not harmful to leave it there or anything. And then all of this, I'm not sure if you can see the mound of parsley um trying not to step on it here but all of this is parsley these are all parsley plants um they have their roots on them here again i tried to get as much soil off as possible um parsley roots if you've never seen them are actually quite thick and they grow very large that is one parsley plant so i might actually um try to see if i harvest some of this and then repot these up because you can harvest all of this and then cut it you know harvest all of it and then put this back in the soil and it will grow parsley is definitely very resistant um or i might see if maybe some of the neighbors want established parsley plants or something but there are about 30 in this pile so far all right so now on to the rest of it uh, i'm gonna go with the arugula now because i'm gonna skip over what is in this little area here um, to save it for later Oh, and I did get quite a few of these little green tomatoes, um, which I threw out anything that had holes in it into the compost pile, or rather I just kind of like left it on the plants. And so, yeah, that hopefully will be a pile of red tomatoes very soon. <laughs> I actually forgot also we have some scallions here I couldn't even see them because of the amount of arugula that was growing on them but they came with roots um, I'm not gonna pot them up I will just use these for salads and discard the rest in compost all right so we have a ton more parsley as you can see um, we have that giant pile over back there that I showed you guys a little bit ago but all of this is also parsley that I'm gonna have to find something to do with um, and then I'm really interested to see our carrots so we have that one little carrot there um, I don't think anything is gonna be bigger than that so let's see so far tiny little carrots not so much anything to eat um, I'm just gonna make a little pile over here I think the rest of them will probably be around the same really not worth it um, let's see okay it's such a shame because I would have loved to enjoy these carrots I planted out about four different types of carrots this season and yeah the weather has been absolutely insane lately so but look at that we got one okay and we're getting some of these tiny little baby ones so I can't complain I didn't think we we're gonna get anything So we have a ton of little baby carrots, um, most of them are about this size or smaller, um, but yeah, I'm actually not too, not too um, saddened by this because I didn't think we were going to get any carrots at all, so the fact that we actually have a few, now I am ripping them up, um, if I left them, the weather is going to get much warmer, like very, very quickly, um, it is already in the 70s and 80s here, so I can't leave them in the ground too much longer, but also I need the space to grow this season's garden so um, I will just kind of preserve them in water um, the tops will go either to the chickens or in compost however I definitely did not account for the amount of compost that is coming out of this um, which I always do anyway so um, yeah this will probably go to the chickens 
All right, so everything is pretty much ripped up except for my kale and my Swiss chard. Now I'm gonna rip up my Swiss chard first, put it in one of these compost piles. Um, back there is the parsley. This is compost, this is compost. Um, that is more parsley that's already ripped up in a bunch. And then that is compost. Now we got a whole bunch of little green tomatoes, way more than I thought. Um, and so those will be ripening on the countertop. All of them look like they are pretty much good to go. If we set them on the countertop, they will turn red with the occasional red one in there already. Um, and then I don't know what I'm gonna do with all this parsley, to be honest with you guys. Um, so the first thing I'm gonna do is a Swiss chard. And Milo is super bored over there in the corner. He wants to play. Um, but the first thing I'm gonna do is rip up the Swiss chard um, because that's going in compost. And I'm going to put the kale in water in the kitchen sink inside. And then as soon as I do that, um, I will go ahead and start cutting it off of the off of the vines or off of the roots or whatever, um, and then trying to save that so that it doesn't wilt. Although kale is pretty hardy, um, however, I want to make sure that you know it doesn't wilt before I get to save it. So. garden is completely ripped out I poured compost over the entire thing kind of tried to level it in as much as possible um, and then here don't mind my camera equipment um, here is everything that is going to the chickens I just repurposed the compost bags but that is Swiss chard arugula mustard greens um, everything pretty much except for the tomato greens which the chickens can't eat um, that is trash which is a little bit of the tomato greens um, and the rest of the bags I kind of stuffed them all in one and then in the compost pile over here um, I just stuffed in as much as possible as would fit um, for the tomato greens because again chickens can't eat that so pretty much filled to the top um, with the tomato greens um, so the compost pile is completely full for next season hopefully we'll get some great compost and that's pretty much the garden for right now all right guys um, so that is a wrap on this video as you can see i am completely covered in dirt everywhere um, i am going to go harvest all of my um, my kale my parsley i'm going to blanch the kale save some for salads and stuff for right now and then the parsley we have tons of it i'm going to see um, if i can give it away to some family and friends if not then i guess i will have a very busy day just harvesting more parsley and putting that in the freezer thanks so much for watching if you like this video don't forget to like and subscribe and i will see you in the next one bye